Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to reassemble uh, the furnace for my RV. So uh, in my last video about this furnace I got the, the fan apart and found that it was broken. Uh, you can see that all the fins on this side are broken off. So both sides, well there's a hole here, but both sides should look like this. It should really be like twice as wide as this, uh, but all of those broke off. Uh, so I ordered a new fan, and it looks like that's here. Uh, got a box. My wife actually opened this box the other day. And in it, oh, this looks like it's actually a upgraded version. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually seen this yet, but it looks like this one is made of steel. I can feel it's made of steel. Um, so that's actually really cool. Uh, you know, this fan, I uh, just ordered it off the internet. Let me open it up here. Um, it's only about $30, which is great because I'd imagine that a furnace is quite a bit more expensive than that. Um, but I got a new fan for $30 to replace the old one. Yeah, definitely looks, uh, looks like it's the right dimensions. You know, like I said, it's supposed to be twice as wide, and this one obviously is. This part uh, broke off of the old fan completely. Um, so this one... I'll be able to put inside here, um, connect to the motor here, that should just slide right on there, and then put this back together. And uh, you know, when I took the old one apart, I kind of like pulled the whole, um, you know, shroud, motor, everything out in one shot. And part of that's because I didn't know how it comes apart. I don't usually work on these. And the other part was because this uh, ground. Uh, ran around like the bottom kind of backwards around the shroud uh, whereas I would route it differently um, and because it was routed around the shroud backwards I, I really couldn't pull just the top part of the shroud off to get the motor out because it was snagged around the bottom part of the shroud uh, so I think that going back together I'll be able to put the the bottom sides of the induction shroud and the blower shroud in then put the mower and fans on top of it, and then the top parts of the shrouds uh, over all of that. Uh, so anyhow, let's get this thing back together uh, and see how it works. got my fan hooked up here. I got a, a car battery um, here. I've got that on a, a 12 volt charger. Uh, this battery I think is actually a bad battery. Uh, so I put on the charger just to try and get 12 volts to it. Um, I've got a jumper 
a line here with a fuse in it, a 10 amp fuse going to the power side of the motor, and then another circuit here on the ground side. So I'm just going to touch this to the battery ground. And when I do that, this motor should spin up and uh, make absolutely no noise and vibration. So really hoping that's the case here. So let's give this a try. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I mean, it's a... Uh, um, yeah, for not being a perfectly round fan, um, I think that's okay. Um, especially, you know, this will be tucked in a cabinet underneath the refrigerator. Um, you know, I'm gonna, uh, let's see, I'm gonna put this power, uh, or this ground on the cable, and then I'm gonna put my hand on the box here, not on the fan, but on the box, uh, just to feel and make sure it's not vibrating. Uh, Cause I don't want the floor of the camper to be vibrating when it's running. So let's try that again. Yeah, I mean, it's got just a little tiny vibration, but it's a running motor, so that's not real surprising. But yeah, I think this is good. I think I'll put it back together and uh, put it in the camper and uh, call this one fixed. So, you know, that's that's great. Uh, let me see here. Um, should have actually down on this end. Oh yeah, yep. I've got, uh, got air coming out the bottom here, uh, so that's good. That's the air that would be going into the RV, the hot air. So, uh, yeah, I think we're in good shape here. I'll put the other end of this back together, and uh, um, yeah, I think we're fixed. So I just had one of those total brain fart moments where uh, I got this whole thing back together. You know, I, I tested it halfway back together. The new fan is working great, doesn't vibrate, doesn't make noise. Get it all back together, and you know what? I had two wires, uh, this black one here, and there's a red one over here somewhere too, um, right here. So I get all the way back together, and it's like I've got these two wires left. And for the life of me, I cannot figure where they go. I'm looking back at this uh, circuit board over here. Um, you know, I'm looking to see if there's an extra plug on the fan that I missed. And uh, to the point where I, I gave up and I took everything back out, trying to look for a connector that I missed along the way, and I could not find it. So I went to my computer and looked at uh, all of my photos from when I took this apart, which I should have done first because you won't believe it, but this piece. Uh, are those two wires uh, plug into here. Uh, there's there's uh, two pins in there that they plug into and this uh, is like the last piece you put on that sits right on top here where it's fully accessible and I could have plugged them right in no problem. So you know what those things happen um, I, even if I didn't look at photos, I'm sure I would have found it eventually. That saved me time, a little bit of time, uh, although I did take the whole thing back apart. So now I'm going to put it back together again, and this time uh, it should work right when I'm done. So uh, next time you see me, I should be sitting in the camper, uh, hopefully turning the furnace on and enjoying some heat. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello everyone, I am back in the camper and I just got the furnace uh, reinstalled here. So I'm here with my uh, partner in crime uh, helping me out today. 
and she's excited to have uh, some furnace back. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and turn it on. I just turned the propane back on and put the uh, exhaust port back on the outside of the RV. Um, so let's go ahead and turn it on and see if we can't get some heat in here. It is about 53 degrees outside today, and I've been using the space heater again, so it's you know it's pretty warm in here, uh, but still room to warm it up some more. So let's see here. I am going to get the fan on auto high. Let's turn it to heat. All right, I can hear it, and it sounds good. Before uh, when the fan was running, it was like. Grrr! And then it went bang, 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 and then to pull the fuse out uh, to make it stop, and and now it's it's nice and quiet. It's not even vibrating. Uh, got some really good airflow coming out actually. I mean, this is probably about the same airflow as I had before the fan came apart, even when it was making noise. But um, you know, the salty everything's gonna work. So what do you think, Penny? Are you excited about this? I know you are. So, anyhow, thank you for watching everybody. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if this video was helpful to you or if you enjoyed it, please like it, leave a comment. Um, if there's any, anything that you would like to see me work on in the future, um, you know, I've got all kinds of equipment at my house that usually breaks. Maybe you'll see some other videos. Um, but anyhow, leave a comment and uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks and have a great day.